Ah, time for another car video. They say wisdom comes with power Reflections of your desires Every move you carefully choose And a shame you keep on losing There are sins and then there is karma All the times you feel my fire I don't need to be safe All right, so what's going on guys? Crazy Ranger Dakota here. I'm bringing you a brand new video today inside of my car. It's been a while since I made one of these videos and pff, I just figured let's make a car video. I really want to make car videos. Now before you ask, yes, I still have the really ghetto setup. I'm sorry, I haven't upgraded it at all. It's expensive to upgrade, man. If I had a better setup, I would be doing these videos so much more often because you guys know I love cars. You know I love Mustangs. You know I love my Mustang. I have a Mustang tattoo. You just know I love this, like anybody that's watched the channel for a while knows I absolutely love this car and just Mustangs in general. And if I had a better setup, I would seriously be making these videos really consistently, but I don't have a very good setup. So I'm sitting here trying to keep it in a high gear and try to keep the exhaust down. Uh, we're going to do a few pulls. Okay, so I think the last car video that I actually did was titled One Year with my 2016 V6 Mustang, and that video did phenomenal. It's the most viewed video on my channel. Check it out. Amazing. And I love cars, and I would love to bring more car content, but like I said, the setup is just not, like, super good for it, so I'm trying to keep it in a higher gear. Either way, I want to make a car video every once in a while at least, because it is one of my passions next to gaming. For those of you who have been watching and know about the car, you already know what's on it, what's done to it. I haven't really done anything since my last car vlog, so you should know exactly what's on the car, what's done to it. But for those of you who don't know, I will quickly run you through it. This is my 2016 V6 3.7 liter Ford Mustang. The Cyclone 3.7 V6 puts out 305 horsepower, 280 pound-feet of torque from factory. And it's enough to have fun with, that's for sure. This car is a six-speed manual. I did not buy an automatic, it is a Mustang. It's very low miles because I baby the shit out of this car. It has currently 7,125.8 miles on it. I baby it, it is my daily driver. I've had it for a little over a year, but I pretty much only take it to work. I do not road trip it. Main reason is because I, I kind of want to trade it in and get a 5.0 one day. I just couldn't afford a 5.0 right now. The engine's pretty, it's stock. Like it's pretty much a stock car, but it does have a little bit done to it. So I have Flowmaster Axleback Pro Exhaust on the car. Sounds amazing. As I'm sure you can probably hear. Videos don't do it justice though, trust me. I have 19 by 95 SVE gloss black drift style wheels all the way around. Wrapped in 285 40R 19 Pirelli tires. I also have the Votlin Super Sport Springs. The car is lowered a little bit. It's not super low, but it's 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 lowered. It's not factory. I also have Maximum Motorsports caster camber plates on the car. Obviously, I plastic up the pony in the front black instead of chrome because I didn't want chrome. I replaced the factory deck lid. It's, it's an MMD all black. It's like a matte black deck lid. I got it from Late Model Resto. That's basically it that's done to the car, aside from the fact that when I bought the car, I had them put the leather seats in because it first had cloth. So I got the black leather and I have a 10 inch sub in the back that they install for free. Should I buy a V6 Mustang? Is the V6 Mustang a good option as opposed to the V8? Ford is discontinuing the Mustang V6. So after 2018, I believe it is, they will no longer be making V6 Mustangs, which is kind of a shame because they're the affordable base model, you know? So as of right now, you can still buy a V6 Mustang. Ford has not discontinued them yet, but by 2018, I think they're gone completely. The 5.0 liter Coyote V8 puts out about 435 horsepower, and you have the 3.7 liter V6 Cyclone puts out 305 horsepower, and 
then I believe it's a 2.3 liter four cylinder turbo EcoBoost engine that puts out roughly 315 horsepower. How does the V6 compare to the V8? Is it a good option as opposed to the V8? So say you don't have enough money like me to buy the V8. Okay, so here's the thing. There's basically no, as far as the S550s go, there's basically no aesthetic difference to the Mustang whatsoever. They basically look the same aside from a few hood scoops here and there and a couple badges. So if you're just a fan of the way the Mustang looks, no big deal. You can literally get any model and you have a car that looks good at what you wanted. If you're looking for performance, obviously the V8 is going to thrive in the performance category. Here's what it really comes down to, okay? So if I were to buy a Coyote, obviously I'm paying a lot more money in insurance than I would be with the V6 because it's a V8, it's a bigger engine. I'm not going to be getting as good as gas mileage with the V8 than I would with the V6. And I'm going to be paying a lot more altogether for the car. So we're talking about the V8 was probably, when I bought this car, I think the V8 was listed for like $42,000. I got this car right at like $29,000, $30,000. So there's a pretty big price difference there. Obviously there's a pretty big power difference as well. But if you're looking to go to a drag strip and something like that, the V8 is obviously the way, the way to go. The V8 is going to give you more horsepower, more torque. It's just going to it's going to go down the drag strip faster than a V6 would from factory, obviously. Now, if you're looking for something like autocross or something, that's this I'm not saying you can't autocross a V8. It's a very viable option, especially with the independent rear suspension available in the S550 Mustangs now. But here's my thing. Here's what I think, and I hear a lot of people talking about it as well. I'm going to do a pull real quick, actually. Short little pull. Ready? Nice little pull. I have not taken this car to, like, a track, like a road course or anything like that. I really want to, but I haven't had the chance to yet. I have taken it to the drag strip, however. It performed all right. It performed all right. I have a video on it. You can go check it out. But... The way I feel about the V6 on like a road course compared to the V8, both cars have the independent rear suspension. You're both gonna get that performance and the stick around corners and it's just perfect. The suspension is beautiful in these S550 cars. With the V8, you're gonna have a lot more weight up front. A lot more weight up front. Where as opposed to the V6, you're a lot lighter up front. I feel like it corners a little bit better. Now, again, I'm not saying you can't autocross a V8 or anything like that. You very well could. I'm just saying I have a lot lighter up front with the V6 than you will with the V8. Everybody's looking at me because I got a fucking camera taped to my shit. I'm waiting at this red light. This is annoying as shit. This is super annoying, bro. What is the light doing? Thank you. Jeez. Oh, the camera moved a little bit. I'm telling you, ghetto setup. Okay, if you can't really tell, I don't have much of an argument. If you're looking to buy a Mustang, V8 is the way to go, obviously. But there are some exceptions. Like I said, the price. The price is the biggest exception to me. And if you're looking for just the look of a Mustang, then there's really no point in spending that extra money. You still get the look with the V6 or the EcoBoost. But the biggest thing to me is the price, the insurance difference, and just the overall cost of the car. Huge, huge difference. Would I rather have a V8 than my V6? 100%. Like I said, eventually I'm going to trade this car in, get a Coyote, which is the V8 model. But am I happy with my V6 is the question. I'm more than happy. It's, it, this car is phenomenal. This car, like I said, still has 305 horsepower from the factory. Stock. St stock. Straight up. It goes. It's super fun. I had the six-speed manual. The thing pulls really, t really hard. When it hits about 4,000 RPM, you go. It pulls. Like, it pulls like a V8 car. Obviously not as hard as a V8 car, but watch, watch, 389, 4,000. We're gone, boys. I'm just in third gear. I didn't even rev it all the way out, bro, but I need to slow down. Miles an hour right there. About 5,000 RPM. It revs out to 6,500. So if any of you guys are looking to buy a Mustang, there's a lot of things to take into account. If you're looking for performance, definitely go with the V8. But if you're looking for the look of a Mustang, or you just want to have a nice car and you can't afford the V8, the V6 is a very valid option. It is a very, very, very valid option. Super nice car. Obviously, you don't get all the bells and whistles, but the thing still sounds amazing. This car, it has just a real simple, it's not even full exhaust, just a real simple exhaust system on it. And, you know, it's it makes noise, bro. It's loud, it pops, it backfires. It sounds good. It doesn't have that V8 rumble, but 
it has a really unique sound and it sounds really good honestly guys I just wanted an excuse to drive my car and make another car video because I miss making car videos I want to spice it up on my channel a little bit you know add a little bit more variety in there I've made plenty of car videos in the past but like I said the setups not very good you can probably hear from the audio and that's why I don't do a ton of them that's just that's why I do not do a ton of these car videos but I love doing them let me know if you would like to see some more of these videos they're actually super 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 fun to do and I would not be opposed to doing it I know that the audio does not do this any justice but I'm gonna rev it for you for a minute hold up you ready you guys ready it sounds so good yeah that's not even 4,000 rpm the car sounds absolutely amazing either way guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please sure to thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already it's been Curse Ranger Dakota I'll talk to you guys later peace